Hi, hello everyone. I'm Ya Chong. I'm the TO here for Flesh and Blood at uh, Game Tavern. So today we are going to talk about fake Flesh and Blood cards and how you can actually identify them in simple three ways. So the first way, we look at the front of the cards. So notice that the fake card actually have a very darker ink finishing and the real card actually have a very light, slightly lighter finishing. Okay, when you compare them side by side, the next thing you are looking for is the font size, okay? So for the fake card, the font is and the logo is actually skinnier compared to the real card where it's bolded and it's more prominent. Second way to look at it is to turn it around and look at the back of the card. This time around, the fake card looks a little bit lighter compared to the real card. And here are the two locations we can do the loop test. One is below the Flesh and Blood logo, the TM test, the trademark test. And then it's on the top left corner, the LSS test. You can use a handphone or you can use the drawer loop. So you can see that the TM uh, logo on the fake card is actually pixelized. Uh, where the TM logo on the real card, it will be very sharp. Same thing will go when you compare the real card and the fake card for their LSS logo on the top left corner of the card. The third way is more useful when you don't have a loop around in your hand and you know that for a set like Arkin Riding, they only have one Belgian print because for different printing company, they're using different cutting method and for Belgian company, Belgian print uh, cuts, they are using laser cutting to cut off cut from the print sheet. So you can tell the cut actually is, uh, is sealed up on the side where the fake cut uh, they clearly didn't use the laser method. They use the blade cutting method, which is closer to other sets that printed in Japan, but which resulted to an open wand, which can be seen in the uh, using the naked eye, and also resulted in the cut being slightly thicker. So when you fill them with your hand, you can also tell the differences of the fake cut being thicker and smoother compared to the real cut. So the reason behind why we are doing this video is because we have several members from uh, the community actually purchased the fake card from this Shopee account, which fortunately now has been deleted. But uh, some of them managed to get refunds, some didn't. So we just want you guys uh, to know that um, how to stay vigilant, how to identify the fake card, and also to spread the word, to share to your uh, friends, to know that how you can tell a fake card from a real card. Thanks for watching.